Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How, and today I'm pretty excited about this one. We have been working on the D-Max for a little while here, and we're working through turning this thing into the ultimate off-road, do-it-all tourer overlander, and there's been something missing. We recently installed the HSP load bars, and that was for a very good reason, because Today we are getting stuck into installing the 23-0 Yowie if you're from Australia or the Armadillo X. And we're doing the install today of how to get that installed onto the back of your tub. That's what this guy is designed for. There's no canopy inside or anything like that. And a tent like this one is gonna work an absolute treat. And this is video one of two that we're gonna be doing on the 23-0 rooftop. This one is all about the install. We're gonna be doing a solid amount of unboxing here to get this thing ready to go and then running through the bits and pieces that come with that is inside here and then ultimately working out how we can install this safely on the back of our tub. And video number two will be taking this guy out on the trails. We'll be going out and doing a little bit of camping and doing a full overview, a trip ready review on the Yowie or the Armadillo rooftop tent. But today it's all about the install. So without further ado, let's get started. So step number one is to unbox the thing. Pretty straightforward that one. A couple of things to bear in mind though. It's likely to come on a bit of a pallet here if you get it delivered. There is a top side. That is where we want obviously facing the top. So when you lay this thing down, have the top side facing up. The other thing to bear in mind guys, that this, this is hefty, right? We're coming in at 82, 82 kilograms. So you definitely will probably want to have a friend. If you're soloing this uh, like yours truly, just uh, be mindful of the extra girth. So take your time with this particular part, grab yourself some good quality cutters, cut the black strips. These ones are the, the ones that actually have it connected to the pallet itself. Once that's away, you want to work it down so it's lying with its back down and the top facing up, of course. Cut the rest of our green straps so we can lift off the box and see what we get. And here we go inside the box. Looks like we've got some extra stickers. That's always, that's always good. And if we start pulling this away, we can get to our tent proper. From here, it's a matter of having a look underneath, pulling all the rest of the styrofoam and shipping protection out of the way so that you can get this guy ready to be installed straight on top of your tub. Right, so once we've got it all out of our cardboard box, we've just got it sitting conveniently in the back of the D-Max. It fits in, in, the, uh, in the tub, which is pretty cool. The next step here is to remove our plastic shipping protection. Once we've got that out of the way, we'll be able to get ready to grab our bracketry, which is in here, so that we can sit it on top and start bolting it all down. And there we go, check that out. That looks awesome, very, very slick. Love the look of this thing. The contours are pretty cool. Got our logo down the bottom here looking nice and subtle. Not one of those big Larry logos, but just enough, you know what's what. Our dingo there, 23 being the center, center point of Australia, which is pretty awesome in the logo. From here, I recommend getting this guy installed onto the final resting place. That also brings us to an important point when you are installing your rooftop tent. It's really important to make sure you're considering the weight of what you're installing it onto. Now this guy comes in at that 79 kilogram mark. If you were putting this on your roof of your car or, or what have you, you wanna make sure that it is rated to carry that. In our case, for example, the D-Max is good for 100 kilograms, but you need to take off anything else you've got sitting on there. So our rack up there, for example, is 22 kilos. Just make sure your net load carrying capacity is enough to safely carry the rooftop tent. So in our case, this thing is designed for sitting on tubs, so perfect in our case. So with that out of the way, we're, we're ticked that box from here. Next step is to slide that onto where we're gonna have it on the tub. Then we can get into the tent itself to pull out our bracket tree and everything like that so we can final mount exactly where this is gonna go. And here we go, we're on top. We've got the tent sitting in position or rough, roughly in position. We're gonna need to sort of line it up uh, a little bit in a sec, but that's where we wanna get it to. So position your tent on the tub where you want it in the first instance. So just make sure you've got enough of a gap here, particularly if you've got glass, that kind of thing. One other thing to bear in mind is just around the side, if you are running awnings or anything like that, the tent will open up and then up like that. So you wanna make sure that you're not scraping it on the sides here or anything like that. So I'd recommend in the first instance, you wanna do a sort of a test open. So get it all in position. Then once you've got that in position, we're gonna open the tent up so that we can get our little box that's sitting inside. And inside that little box has all of our brackets and what have you that we need to bolt this guy into position. So to open up the tent, it is stupid easy, which is one of the best things about this style of tent. There are four buckles, two on this side. They just flip up there like that. 
And then around to our opening side, which is on the driver's side here in Australia, or the right-hand side for, for everyone else. If we flip that up, that's as simple as it gets. And then all we need to do, you wanna gently push the tent up. You'll have your strap here that you can help. And then just gently release it so it opens up and it should X open, which is the whole point, right? This is the awesomeness of the Yowie or the, the armadillos, the, the X-frame there, which is pretty cool. And you can see we've got plenty of space where we can actually come across a little bit more in my particular configuration. So, so that's pretty good. We'll shimmy him this way in a moment, but what we need to get to is inside there. So it's easiest if you just open the tent up and get to that box. So to do that, from here, you just want to get your ladder ready. We can get that strap out of the way. We can pull our little, our little uh, retaining strap out of the way, a bit of elastic there. Once your elastic's out of the way, just wanna keep this out of the way of the ladder so you're not hooking yourself in there, just like that's fine. Then just pull the ladder all the way out. Just give it a firm pull there. Once you're out, you wanna just lever it. Ideally two hands is the go here, but just wanna pull it out like that and then keep pulling it until our fold out section folds down. Now at this point, you just wanna be really careful. Don't go climbing up in there or anything like that just at the minute as much as you're gonna to want to because we're not strapped down. And what we don't want happening is the back end here going and flipping up and sliding off or anything crazy like that. So at this point, this is basically all you need to do. I wouldn't get in there just yet. From here, what you wanna do Look how dark that is, you probably can't even see that. That's the LST kicking into gear there, which is awesome. From here though, jump up on your tailgate, get inside there and you'll find a box. And the box should look a little bit like this. You'll see that sitting inside. The only other thing inside will be your stays for the windows. We'll go through all of that in the full overview and setup video, but in here's what we need. So what you get, we even get a ratcheting spanner. How awesome is that? Well done, 23-0. We have a bunch of keys. This is the stuff we need though. So we have four of these guys right here. So these are our stainless steel brackets. And what these are designed to do is to basically clamp our rail system here underneath. So they basically go on there a little bit like that. Then we also have our bag of nuts and bolts. Pretty cool stuff, all stainless and the right length. Importantly though, we have nylock nuts. Really, really important, awesome to see because the last thing we want is this thing rattling loose over some corrugations and that sort of stuff when you're hitting the tracks. And then finally, we have our little load spreaders here. These guys are designed to spread that load across a larger area here in the rail itself. So that's pretty cool. And then from here, we now need to fold it back away. So reverse our previous process, we can pack that away fold it down. Once that is in position, we can get started on locking it down. Right, so happy with our final position here. Measured it on either side here, just to make sure that we're square and looking pretty good. We've got enough clearance with our awning. We're all good, we're ready to go. So from there, now let's get the thing bottled down. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need your load spreaders here. We're gonna need one of these per corner. These are our load spreaders and they're designed to slot in and also give an extra load support for our bolt heads. So we can see how that works. It slots into this little channel. So it's not just the bolt head that's giving that strength. We're spreading that load across the whole channel. So from here, we just wanna take our end caps off and then conveniently that will fit straight in there. So we can just go like that. What we wanna do is we wanna come in underneath. There needs to be one of these on both sides of our rail. Pretty straightforward stuff. So from here, I recommend getting all four slotted into here. A little like that. And then once you've got that, we wanna get one on the other side of the bar down the end here. So we wanna slide two down there and then have two here. Then once we have all four in position, I've gone ahead and done the same on this side there as well. So we're, we're ready to roll. Double check your measurements. Make sure you're happy with where the tent is sitting. And then from there, grab your rails here, our little plates. And where you can see one side, we've got a bit of an adjuster slot. So it doesn't really matter which way you put it on, but I just wanna slot him on like that. And ultimately it wants to sit in there just like that. So put them all on loose to begin with, and then double check your measurements for the final time. And then we can zip all of those nylocks on for the final time. And there we go, it should look a little bit like this. Now from here, it's just a matter of cinching these guys in here together and then tightening these down. Now at this point, conveniently, 
we have a, a ratchet spanner that's been included, which is just awesome to see. Now I'd recommend using this and not getting a rattle gun because you don't want to apply too much force to our brackets here. They are strong, but you don't want to go burko and, and, and pull those out or anything like that. So as much as if you have one, you're going to be tempted to use one, I'd recommend doing it by hand. So just jump underneath, tighten all these down. It is recommended that we just go regular tight, not maniac tight. And there we go, we are all bolted down. Those nuts are looking pretty good. You wanna see about an even amount of thread on either side. So one, two, three, four, we are all bolted down. I'll give it the old shake in the whole car. Perfect, check that out. We are good to go. And then final step is just to reinstall the end caps here. They're just the little uh, rubber grommet things here. You can see the little end caps. They just slot into yay and yay. Pretty straightforward, a little bit like that. And then once, once they are all done, I'm gonna do this guy as well. Once they are all done, congratulations, well done. You have fully installed your 23.0 Yowie or Armadillo X rooftop tent. Now, like I mentioned at the start of the video, we will be doing a full trip ready review on the rooftop tent. That's gonna cover things like the full pack down setup in, in timing it to see exactly how fast it is to set up and deploy, but also a full overview of everything that this guy comes with because there's a whole stack of different features that this comes with that is pretty unique in the market. That video is gonna be out very shortly after this one. I'll make sure I link it down the bottom there or up here somewhere so you can head on over and check that one out. Now, if you're new here and you're interested to know a little bit more about the DMAX build, Good news, you're in luck. There are 40 plus videos as part of the build series. So check out the playlist that's on the channel. And of course, big thank you to the patrons of Video Show Me How. Guys, thank you very much for your extra bit of support. But other than that, guys, as always, I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.